Alright guys, last time we took some measurements and modeled a, some wire shelf insert clips. Um, so if you haven't seen that, make sure to check that out. Now we're going to slice and print the piece. Alright, so it was pointed out to me uh, clearly that I had a little mistake here going on. Of course, I needed to revolve this more than 180 degrees because otherwise this is not going to overlap with this, which I saw when I tested it. But I mean, they, it's still clipped onto the post, but you know, we want to make we want to make this as accurate as we can. So let's fix it. Um, basically, we want this little piece to extend past this line, right? So that it matches up with this. Let's go to this this sketch, and we want to convert this into a construction line, right? Because it's not an actual line that we're going to use for any model. It's a construction line, so it's a reference to things. So what we're going to do is we're going to revolve from this side. We're going to make another construction line, right? So sketch, line, and let's just make a line down here. Escape, and then normal construction, right? So now that's a construction line. Now we're going to select mirror. I'm going to select this whole thing, make sure we have, to, okay, that's 20, our 20 component, um, items, objects, and then we're going to select our mirror line. All right, so this looks right. Click OK, and now we're going to stop sketch, and now we're going to revolve from the other one. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop selecting that. We're going to select this instead. Let's do like... 200 degrees. That looks about right. Okay, let's do that. Okay, of course we're gonna have that. Now we gotta fix these right here, right? So let's go over here. And now there we go. We have fixed it super quickly thanks to the parametric features of Fusion 360. Um, Alright, now let's save it. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, now let's um, select the whole body. Let's export save as STL. Okay, all right, now let's print it. All right, so let's look at slicing our print. Uh, as you can see, I've loaded the model already. This is the new model with the fixed um, revolving. And uh, I mean, I tried this once before. I'll show you a couple of clips of, of that. Um, but basically, we're, we're positioning it like this in order for the layers to be built like, like that. Because if we position it vertically, we position it vertically like this then um, the layers would be done this way and when we put in the shelf and we hammer into it uh, this would have the highest chance of delaminating the print so um, we're gonna be, we're gonna print it like this and then the orientation is going to be with the center towards the top because that way it's going to handle the overhangs by itself. Um, if we printed it like if we printed it the other way, well, you get the you get what I'm saying. If we do it like this, then there's a higher chance of this being an overhang and probably by my angle settings it will consider it an overhang. So now let's look at look, take a look at the settings. We layer height Point two. We don't need much more from that. Thickness one millimeter. Uh, fill density. I chose fifty because um, you know this is gonna be a piece that's under stress, so we want it to be a little stronger than usual. Uh, and then these are the PLA settings that work well for me. I guess we won't be needing this touching belt plate. And then we can probably do a brim since there's not a lot of surface touching here, and we don't have support. 
Um, let's take a look at the la the layers then. Looks great. Anyway, so let's save it. Let's go ahead and print it. Here's a print. Let's take it out. All right, didn't need that. Let's see if you can see. Finish is pretty good. There's a little bit of stringing here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's take it off of the support of the brim. with a bit of a flat spot over here but maybe we can send it down um, it's pretty strong though pretty sturdy let's test it so this is the original piece and it fits pretty well and then our printed piece fits perfectly with it too as you can see it clamps and it doesn't really slide or anything it fits in perfectly now that's how it looks all the way around and if you remove it it still stays clamped still fits you can clamp it on and it works and it doesn't slide here are some close-ups so you can see more of the details hey guys i wanted to ask you a question so my fr friends at 3d print new New York uh, sent me some flexible filament. Uh, I think this is semi-flex. It doesn't stretch that much, but it does move around. Um, I don't know. I wanted to ask you guys for ideas to print with this thing. Um, yeah, I have around seven meters, I think. So um, I don't know. Something small, but something cool. I'll wait for your suggestions in the comments. Bye-bye.